today's evening devotional. Too drunk to think. When the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded to bring Vashti the queen before the king with the crown royal, to shew the people and the princes her beauty, for she was fair to look on. Esther 1 10, 11. When this command came from the king, Vashti did not carry out his orders, because she knew that wine had been freely used, and that Ahasuerus was under the influence of the intoxicating liquor. For her husband's sake as well as her own, she decided not to leave her position at the head of the women of the court. It was when the king was not himself, when his reason was dethroned by wine drinking that he sent for the queen, that those present at his feast, men besotted by wine, might gaze on her beauty. She acted in harmony with a pure conscience. Vashti refused to obey the king's command, thinking that when he came to himself, he would commend her course of action. But the king had unwise advisers. They argued it would be a power given to women that would be to her injury. However high their office, men are amenable to God. The great power exercised by kings, often leads to extremes in exaltation of self. And the worthless vows made to enact laws which disregard the higher laws of God, lead to great injustice. Occasions of indulgence such as are pictured in the first chapter of Esther, do not glorify God. But the Lord accomplishes his will through men who are nevertheless misleading others. If God did not stretch forth his restraining hand, strange presentations would be seen. But God impresses human minds to accomplish his purpose, even though the one used continues to follow wrong practices. And the Lord works out his plans through men who do not acknowledge his lessons of wisdom. In his hand is the heart of every earthly ruler, to turn whithersoever he will, as he turneth the waters of the river.